It's easier to market something that's sexy than something that isn't. So what do you do when your product or your service just isn't sexy? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to break down how I turn a boring product into a marketing success behind my most successful campaigns. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now, I have a question for you. Before I actually break down what I've done to make boring things sexy, I want you to leave a comment below on what you've seen in the marketing world that's boring, that's turned into sexy. Because if we all share this, we'll all help each other market when it comes to boring products and making them more sexy. Look, a lot of people reach out to me asking, hey Neil, I have a product or a service that is too boring. I don't know how to do marketing for a solution like this. The truth is, most products aren't really that remarkable or interesting. You'll only be able to drive as much attention as your solution's ability to solve a specific problem, the needs, and the wants from your audience. Here are a few things I do when it comes to making a boring solution a marketing success. First tip, create a narrative. How do you come up with that solution? What problems led you to creating that solution? In essence, you're creating a story. People love stories. Even in businesses, people wanna know from the ups, the downs, what's the impact that it had on someone's life from using that product, how it changed it. Let's say you're selling an acne product, that's boring. You know, have you ever seen that doctor that pops those pimples? And my wife used to look at them. To me, it grosses it out, but people are like, wow, this is so cool. Well, you got that, we popped them, here's the solution. That's an example of how you make something boring and kind of scary into something that's sexy. What does it look like when you have that problem solved? Tons of acne, no acne. Tip number two, anchor your solution to problems, needs, and wants. It's not about your solution. It's about how it makes your customers' lives better, easier, frictionless, even elevates their status and what emotions are associated with it. Tip number three, make it visual. Even with very abstract products like courses, showing people what's inside makes a materialized difference in their lives and improves conversions. I kid you not. I remember back in the day when people sold the eBooks, they would show all the CDs and pamphlets and everything you get, huge difference in conversions. Walk them through the experience of what it's like to be a customer from unboxing it to learning, to using it, to how it's changed their business, to the results. How it's day to day of someone using it and how their lives are just that much better. What comes inside? Create videos and content around that. I also want you to evoke emotions, sensations, smells, you know, auditory perceptions. Go beyond the visual. Get to the synthetic aspect of what you're offering. Tip number four, use humor and don't be boring just because your product is. Look, Old Spice is deodorant, you know? Put some on here, put some on there. What else is there to it? You know what else there is to it? a dude on a horse talking about Old Spice or Dollar Shave Club using that funny video about shaving. Yeah, it's just razor blades, but it helped them turn to a billion dollar company. Don't take yourself too serious. Have fun like I am with these videos. Tip number five, paint a picture of what your solution is gonna be able to do to your customer's lives. Will it elevate your customer's status? Will it make them look more prestigious? My grandma, on one hand, loves it when she looks better to her friends. She doesn't have an ego, she's humble. I love her to death. She's one of my favorite people. But with her, she loves, you know, just elevating her status because it just makes her feel special. She doesn't care if other people know about it. She just likes that special feeling it makes her feel on the inside. Will it make something easier in their lives? How does it make it feel when that's solved? You know, that big problem that they're facing. One great example of this is, I know people who own Ferraris but never post about them on social media, but they do it because it just makes them feel wonderful. It makes them feel on top of the world. Hopefully they're not speeding and putting other people's lives in danger, but they just love the feeling. Will it make your customers look good in front of someone who they care about? And if you do all of this, you'll solve these issues. So that's it, follow the tips, you're good to go. If you need help implementing them, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell people about it. Thank you for watching.